Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome into Oliver Ames High School in Eastern Massachusetts for game three of the Oliver Ames Holiday Tournament. This one featuring the South Boston Knights and the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Joined alongside my broadcast partner, the seven-time award-winning director and producer and Emmy-nominated Newbie Ratto. Newbie, an intriguing matchup here. The Southie Knights against D3 Cardinal Spellman. I tell you what, listen, that, that D3 crap, that really doesn't matter. I mean, there's a lot of talent going on all around um, you know, these ways in Massachusetts basketball. You look at Brighton High School Division II, you know, completely dominating Brockton last year, and so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, I think this is going to be a very um, competitive team. I'm not worried about D3, D1. I'm worried about good basketball, and I think we're going to get good basketball here today. It is 3-3 three to three as Cardinal Spellman started off with a bang. And looking to... What a pass! What a pass in the inside right here. I'll tell you what, I like Cardinal Spellman's height. They seem to take it, have a lot of height going to the bass and see if uh, they can take advantage of that going to the paint. Nice passing so far early on by Southie. Getting some open three-point shots. Cardinal Spellman is wearing their away maroon jerseys, gold and white trim. The JG on the back is for Joey Glenn. Of course, the former Cardinal who lost his life after a pickup game a few years ago. Spellman winning the title the following season, dedicating that season to Joey Glenn. And the Southie Knights are in their home whites, blue and red trim. You know, I'd love to see a Cardinal Spellman Brockton selfishly. Uh, I'd love to see that matchup in the championship game. I don't think they, if they played. If they played a game, I, it's not something I remember. It had to be a long time ago. It's definitely something I would, uh, I would recall. That, that'd be an awesome matchup right there. Well, Spellman and Brockton both have height tremendously. See a full court press of Spellman. That's going to be, it looks like it's going to be a blocking foul. Check that offensive foul on. Charge called against Southie. And Southie. Which is Admar Jamarillo, one of the returning members. He was only a freshman when Spellman won that title back in 2013. Wow, section one, ordinance one, part one clearly states you must stop the ball. You can't let him, let him drive to the basket from coast to coast without stopping the basketball? That's anarchy. Jamarillo for three, no good. Second foul against number 10 of Spellman. That is Mike Spencer. Got it with the travel on that one right there. What a great bounce pass! There's a block. No soup for you! Layup off the glass and in for number three of the Cardinals, Craig Faria. What a rejection right there. Here comes the full court press. Interception. Returned for a touchdown for Admar Jamarillo. Eight to five, Spellman on top. They got to do a better job breaking And that another press. steal! Can't do that, can't hang around and dribble the basketball at the press. You gotta break it, go right down the pipe, go right down the inside. Oh wow, we have big timers here. I just seen the head coach of Bridgewater State, uh, Mr. Faroba here. Wow, we're, we're amongst greatness right now. Probably scouting out some future players for his uh, Bridgewater State Bears. Quick little anecdote, speaking of Bridgewater State Bears, I had a chance to uh, cover the Lynn Tech High School game versus Chelsea. Head coach of Chelsea High School is actually a former player of Bridgewater State. So it's good to see local players from around this area getting head coaching jobs. That was uh, Judah Jackson, 
former Mass Tech All-Star for the Bridgewater State Bears, now the head coach of the Chelsea Red Devils. For all you Chelsea Red Devil fans out there. So here comes this full court press. Matt, they gotta go right down the pipe, right, right down the inside. This press is gonna force you to create cross-court passes, which is gonna allow the point guard to easily intercept the ball. You gotta go right down the middle to break this full court press. And by them passing it to on either side of the court, you're, you're already doing what the press wants you to do. They want you to do dangerous cross-court pass. You gotta go right down the pipe. Here we go again. I agree. South Boston driving high off glass, no good. Loose ball, Spellman picks it up, a travel against the Cardinals. That card there should have been a jump ball. He traveled because it was a jump ball. And a steal for Jarmarillo. He's in alone laying it up, no good. You gotta finish A couple those. of offensive boards, and eventually, Tyrone Smith McCray is fouled, the senior from Brockton. I tell you what, I, I, I like this um, this point guard for Spellman. First of all, you gotta finish the layup. Let's just get that out the way. But um, you know, very fast, very athletic, long arms. Not that tall, but has long arms though. That kind of accounts for um, for his uh, for his height. But um, aggressive. I like his game, big fan of it. Speaking of height, Kyle Murphy into the game for South Boston. All 5'8 of him. The sophomore point guard from Southie. Carlos Vasquez Jr. with it. Over to number 13, who can't finish the lap. Huang Lee. Now Jarmarillo. Uh oh, here we go, towards us. Nice. Woo -hoo -hoo. That easy. Poor, tiger. poor monitor. I was going to use you for cover. Yeah, a little too much dribbling right there by. Uh, by the South Boston point guard. Punk fake, step over, three is good. <laughs> Smith McCray got hit in the head. Now Jamarillo for three, or a long two is good. It's 9-8 Spellman. 11-8 Spellman, excuse me. Make that 11-10 Southie right down the other end, laying it up and in. Camarillo, no look. Down to number three, Craig Faria, and what that a, is good. What a play right down, tippy toeing down the baseline with the left hand. Dangerous pass. Healthy with it. One thing I like what um, South is doing, they're playing a zone defense by Spellman. You gotta attack the zone and they're doing that. So good job by them. A lot of times when you play zone defense, you settle for the three. Looks like South is playing a zone of their own. Chamarillo for three from the corner is good. Hello. Hello. Would you like any fries with that? 16-10, Faria. Couple of uncontested rebounds. He is just towering over the two Southie point guards. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh. Little Euro step there. Oh, I see a big fella. Atta boy. That was Sammy Holman. Little Euro it up step. Jamarillo now in for number 10 off the glass. And then Mike Spencer, the senior. Tell you what, you gotta come to the basketball with this press. You can't just wait for the ball to come to you. You gotta come to the basketball. You gotta be more aggressive on this. Jeez Louise. A hold. 
called against Craig Faria, his second personal. Fifth against the Cardinals. 158 to go in the first quarter. I don't know if you can get much more action packed than this. Yes, you could. Game two. You absolutely could. All veins in Brockton. Three no good. Another whistle. This one's going to go against Southie. A push. Called against Kwong Lee. Faria in the corner. This is pass deflected. Finding John Murillo. Now John Murillo picking up the loose ball at Southie. Almost intercepted. His floater no good. And Southie the other way. Good job. Game back on Trizis' defense. What a pass! Down low to Spencer off the glass. And in Southie's going to call a timeout. It's 22 to 12. Spellman on top. A minute 12 remaining in the first quarter. I tell you what, when basketball's being played well, it's like watching ballet on a hardwood. I mean, just beautiful passing, cutting, going to the basket, cool, calm, controlled, calculated confidence. Good basketball being played by uh, by Spellman. You know, they're, they're moving the ball, being fundamental. Southeast, frankly, has got to do a better job and got to handle game through this press. Way too many sloppy passes. Uh, they're not being aggressive going to the ball. You really got to take it to, the, to, 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 to Spellman here. And what the hell is that? What is he drinking? That would be Mike Faria drinking... Or Craig Farry, excuse me, drinking some kind of purple liquid out of a gallon. Probably Gatorade, I'm assuming. Who just, who openly chugs a gallon of Gatorade on yeah, the he's bench? He's chugging. <laughs> hey, I'm all fired up with the Patriots setting uh, James Harrison. Fired up for the playoffs over here. It's a fun time to be a sports fan. Got basketball playoffs. Um, excuse me, basketball tournaments. So everyone's saying that there's some some deeper meaning to it. The deeper meaning. What is I, what I see, he's a great outside linebacker. Phenomenal. The Patriots have been weak at that position since Chandler Jones went to Arizona. Dante Hightower is great, but he can't stay on the field. What's this? There's a delay here. So there's some internal fighting now amongst the Steelers. The Steelers are all saying James Harrison forced his way out. So he could get to the Patriots. Don't know how much truth there is to that. One minute remaining in the first quarter. It's 22-12. Spellman on top. This one finds its way out of bounds off of Admar Jamarillo. Floated in for Yaniel Balbuena. Say that five times. That five times. Done. Oh, that, was, that was very cute, Matt. Very cute. This is Tyrone Smith McCray. To Rob McGuire. McGuire shot no good. Jamarillo tipping it. Yeah, to this, I'll tell you what, Matt. Just you, you got to be more careful with these passes. I mean, a lot of these turnovers by by South, he's unforced. Ja 
Amarillo over to McGuire. And a travel against Jarmarillo. And a timeout by head coach Mike Perry. You know, one of the best games I remember, actually, to be quite frank, probably not one of the best games. The best game, I, high school game I've ever seen in my life was when Spellman played Martha's Vineyard. Had to be about four years ago. Had a kid from Martha's Vineyard score about 50 points. It was incredible. A one-man wrecking crew. It was to a point where he was so incredible. I was actually rooting for Martha's Vineyard to win the game over, over Cardo Spellman. It was a game played in San, which is a neutral site. Spellman versus Martha's Vineyard. It was a triple overtime game. The kid scored 50 points. Remember that was uh, me and Peter Zimbo. Actually, that might have been our last time announcing me and Peter together. Um, but one hell of a game. Never forget that. Great atmosphere, packed house. I'll tell you what, nothing like high school basketball, playoff basketball, when it's intense, when it's good. I'll tell you what, you sit down on, on court side, no better seat. No better seat in the house. No better, no better feeling atmosphere than that. Especially in the postseason, fans can get wild. Spelling's postseason run a few years ago. Sold out arenas across the state. That one started at Taunton High School. Every game had a different theme. <laughs> so the, the fans dressed up as whatever the theme was. One night was neon. One night was Halloween costumes. Once they got to the garden, it was just school colors. Right, right. Little air ball. There's Balbuena's calling for a hit. Not going to win that call. 1.5 seconds on the clock in the first quarter. Cooler heads have prevailed. The last second shot, no good. Buzzer sounds. First quarter has come to an end. It will be an action-packed first period. It's 22 to 12, Spellman on top. Yeah, you know, definitely a well-played game. Uh, I, I think if South Boston wants to really get back in the game, they're not quick, you know, out the game per se. They're down by 10, but to really um, mount to come back here, they got to limit these turnovers and they got to figure out, figure out a way how to break this press. This press right now by Spellman's been suffocating. Kudos to Spelman for, I think they've been doing a fantastic job passing the basketball, especially in the interior, driving the ball, moving the ball around, great ball rotation, and the results are on the score. Well, we hope everyone is staying warm out there. By the time this game airs, it will be about five degrees outside, a low of negative two. Nice. High of 10. Nice. I tell you, whenever it gets around this time of year, I always think that Florida move doesn't sound that bad. Southie with possession to start this second quarter. A three from Vasquez Jr. No good. John Marillo picking up the loose ball. John Marillo in and it's too hot to handle from Mike Spencer out of play. Well, I just want to give a shout out to our director, Paul Manivelt. Alma mater playing Cardinal Spellman. Typically a very emotional game for him when he comes He used to, to be a big part of the Cardinal Spellman basketball program. Yeah, I heard. He was the uh, statistician. Probably one of the top five statisticians I remember of all time. But Paul typically gets very emotional. Very, get, very Gets very emotional when he does these games. A lot of great memories here in Spellman. So you know, kudos to Paul. And you know, it's, uh, you see him just give a big hug. 
Nobody scored points without Paul Mandeville writing so. Nope. The Mandeville talent. Jamarillo to McGuire. And a three, no good. Can already tell what the theme of this game is going to be. Follow your shot. And it's going to be a blocking foul. I'm not so sure about that one. Checked an offensive foul. Turnover on Southie. I don't. Yeah. I don't necessarily agree with that. for Spencer. Oh, that bomber just got whacked. Jamarillo now. Floater no good. Picked up by Balbuena. Nice up ahead pass. for number 14. Thought about the dunk, lays it up and in. The Excellent safe play. outlet pass right there. Mike catches Marshall the, catches the ball, passes right to his right to his forward. Marshall, the sophomore out of Weymouth. Now it's Rob McGuire. There's the slam for Mike Marshall. Throw it down, big man. Throw it down one time, please. Time off call, we have an injury point. right here on uh, number three. Looks like he's a little dinged up. He's favoring that right knee. Southie burning one of their timeouts. Might be hurting right in the feelings after that dunk. Yeah, I tell you what, um, this Spelman team looks good. They look darn good. Playing good basketball. I'm impressed with this point guard that they got, number four, Matt. What's his name? Admar Jamarillo. Yeah, his, I mean, I'll tell you what, this kid... Um, very poised, um, long arms, not much of a score, but just he's, he's a, a, what you call in football, a game. He's a quarterback. He's a game manager. A game manager. They used to call me that a lot when I played basketball. A game manager. I was like a Kendrick Perkins, though, in the paint. It might be a uh, 5.5 rebound. Misquoting that first word. I think it's equipment. No, that was, that was solid. Five points, five rebounds. Never played on the, on the boxers, but, you know, in, in, uh, in my, uh, my, street ball, my street ball days, five points, five rebounds, solid. I just, no layup. They call the, me the, the they, video game edition of No, newbie? they call me no layup newbie. No layup newbie. Five forty to go in the second quarter. It's twenty-eight twelve. Spellman on top. Another unforced error. Spencer coming up with this one. Now steal for Balbuena. He loses it. Jacques Samuels Hall for three is no good. Seventh team foul against Spellman as number 11, Rob McGuire, fouled for the push. That puts Southie in a one and one shooting situation. Two or two at the line is number four, Sammy Holman, 28-14. Spencer to McGuire. And a three for McGuire, no good. Spencer in the right place at the right time, puts it up, no good. Gotta put up strong in the net. 
This is basketball, baby. This is Division I basketball. Let's go to work. Or Division Three. Whatever. This is basketball. You got to put up stronger than that. Division One, Two, or Three. You got to do better than that. First foul against Patrick Gilday. Name sounds familiar. The son of now Judge Mark Gilday. Oh, how could I forget? Joe Murillo as McGuire stands in the corner waiting for the ball. It's like a zone offense type deal. Joe Murillo for three it is no good. Off the shot clock, he is out of play. Selfie takes over. going to be a hold against Gilday who is hugging Kyle Murphy. <laughs> Kwang Lee at the line for a couple shots. And it's 28-16 with Spellman on top halfway through the second quarter. Spencer, first layup no good, but followed on the way up. He'll be at the line for a couple shots. Very long roster for Spellman. Nineteen players. Wow. On the Spellman roster. Two or two at the line for Spencer. Murphy off the glass and in. John Marillo counted in one. Driving baseline, put it off the glass. And in. It's 32-18. And John Marillo looking to extend that. Does just that. 33-18, Spellman on top. Tip off Spellman. Kwong Lee for three, no good. Rebound attempt by Christian Arthur. He might think about that next time. As number 14, Mike Marshall got in his face. This is game three of four today here at Oliver Ames. The winner of this one faces off against the winner of Brockton and Oliver Ames. That game coming up next on Brockton Community Access. This should be a lot of fun. I'm excited for that one. Oliver Ames winning the title as recently as 2010. Heard interesting now, what, stat what division is Oliver Ames? Two. Division two. Heard the interesting stat the other day. Brockton has not won a basketball title 
Since 1985. 1985. Yeah. That's correct, Matt. So Brockton has not won a basketball title since eight years before the birth of a legend, the Mad Dog. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. It's 33-21. Spellman on top, John Morello driving inside. No look pass. A little bit too much on it for Marshall. Out of nowhere, Balbuena puts it. I tell you what, hey, in. It's, it's a 10-point game. They're making some hay right now. John Morello leaving it for Marshall. And for Spencer. Spencer rejected. And out of play off of Balbuena. Spencer catch and shoot is good after a couple of bounces on the rim. Three on one. Marshall's hurt, uh, hit rather, in the air. Will be at the line for two shots, 35-23. And Mike Marshall looking to extend that lead. No good on his first attempt. Balbuena coming down with the rebound. Jamarillo called for the block. Now 12 fouls against the Cardinals in this first half. That is the first from Admar Jamarillo. Calvin so good on his first attempt. They can cut this down to single digits going to halftime. Now, a 10 point lead, 35 25, Spillman on top. John Marillo back the other way off the glass and in. This guy's an absolute machine. You know, he reminds me of Jason Terry. Oh, nice travel he got away with. That was nice. That was you awesome. and I both know. Oh, here we go. I think I would move that camera. I would have been right towards our camera right there. You and I both know the word travel does not exist doesn't since exist. the 2003 draft. Doesn't exist. The 2003 draft that both saved and ruined the NBA. A little delay going on here. Let's figure out what's. Not sure what they're talking about. They're talking about the score. It's 
stop and pop. No soup for you, John Marillo comes up with the loose ball. To Spencer, and he travels. Traveling violation. But if they didn't whistle that down, he was going to the rim. He was going to the rim. That was a special type of travel. He didn't pass for the travel that much. Easy. That was the LeBron James special right that there. Was the LeBron special. Under a minute to go, it's 37-25. Spellman on top by 12. Out of play off of Spellman. Three for Balbuena, that's an air ball. Bowman takes over with 43.8 to go in the first half. Spencer for three, no good. Southie the other way. is good, that was number 10, Christian Arthur. Now Admar Jamarillo, shot clock off, 20 seconds to go in the half. 10 point lead for the Cardinals. Now 10 seconds left, Jamarillo looking to extend that going into halftime. Jamarillo driving inside, floater no good. Offensive board being assaulted down you can't low. can't bring the ball back down after you rebound it, you must go straight up. You can't do that. Put it straight up. Patrick Brooks. You gotta put it straight up to the basket. No hesitation. What direction do you have to go? Straight up. North. No good on his first attempt. There's 1.5 seconds on the clock. 0 for 2 as the buzzer sounds and the first half has come to an end. 37 to 27, action-packed, newbie. Action-packed, I'm fired up. NBC's fired up, BCA's fired up, ECAT's fired up, the Yugoslavia station's fired up. Let's give it a rock. Came into the second half. Get your popcorn out. Let's go. Pump the volume. Raise the roof. Spellman up by 10 over South Boston going into halftime here in game three of the Oliver Ames Holiday Tournament. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action, and there should be plenty of it right after this. Birdman, Birdman. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love. Love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. Listen. All it took was someone who would insist that I just try. Suddenly everything was turned around because they judge you. You tell them, I don't need this. 
no one is going to understand. Unless they've been through it, how can they? Then one day you realize... You feel so hopeless. I need help. I need help. You feel so hopeless. Then one day you realize... Unless they've been through it, how can they understand? I don't need this. No one's going to judge you. Suddenly everything was turned around because they insist that I just try. All it took was someone who would just... Listen. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Oliver Ames High School for second half action between the South Boston Knights and the Cardinals, Spellman Cardinals. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Join alongside my broadcast partner, seven-time award-winning director and producer, Nubi Ratto. Nubi, action-packed first half, 37-27. Spellman comes in with a 10-point lead. We've seen dunks, we've seen turnovers, we've seen steals, we've seen just about everything. A whole lot of stuff, and it's gonna be a whole lot of more. And I'm fired up, I can't wait, pump the volume, yeehaw! Let's go! Whoa, easy Heads Tiger, up. all right, my man. That was number right. 22. You good? you good? Will Corden. You good, everyone good? Saying how do you do to the commentary I knew. team? I knew, I knew, I knew. <laughs> We got no equipment down there, right? <laughs> how do you do? Kong Lee for three is good. You thought we saw it all when someone went colliding into our monitor. And then a little one up there. Balbuena for three, wide left and short. This is now Caron Smith McCray back into the game. Little great pass to number 22, Will Cornyn. His layup is good, 13 point edge for the Cardinals. Balbuena walking in as Spencer tried to plant his feet unsuccessfully. Balbuena with the rebound, 10, 11 point edge, 43 to 32 the score. Spellman on top, a kickball. Whistles against Spellman. Camarillo called for the hit. against McGuire, his three no good. Kwong Lee fighting for the rebound and instead finds Craig Faria. His short jumper is good. We have a former alumni, Derek Barrows in the house. Spelman alumni here, all fired up. Getting his team fired up. Very happy to see him. 
A block called against Will Cornyn. Puts Balboyne at the line for a couple of shots. Five to 33 now the score. Cardinal Spellman on top. And Spellman good for two. Balbuena corner three, no good. Corn Lee was fouled on his way up good by fake Cornyn. Right there, creating the contact, found himself at the free throw line for two. Good job. Third personal against Cornyn. And Lee is two or two at the charity stripe. 47-35 the score. Amarillo over to Cornyn, back to Jamarillo. Pass intercepted by number 11, Jock Samuels Hall. And Samuels Hall in the corner, working his way inside, kicking it out to Balbuena for three, no good. Now all three in this half. From beyond the arc is Balbuena, and now number Big 10 three right hits there. the three. Big momentum stop right there, huge, huge. Christian Arthur with the trace. 47-38 to score, single digit lead for Cardinal Spellman. So hey, you know what? This is, you know, you, you can't leave an underdog hanging around the whole game. You continue to do this, okay, after a while they're gonna get confidence, right Matt? They're gonna get confidence and start thinking they're better than they really are. Okay, that's what's happening right now for South Boston. Spellman, I think, has clearly proved that they're the bigger, better team. But hey, you keep that underdog hanging around, hanging around, hanging around. You get results like this. Nine-point game, 438 left, third quarter. Okay, buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I said it. We're in for a show in the fourth quarter. You better buckle up. 438 to go. It's 47-38. Spellman on top. Next game is Brockton against Oliver Ames. Let's see who will face the winner of this game, the Oliver Ames Holiday Tournament Championship. Chamarillo to Cornyn, looking down low for Faria. Faria turns, shoots, no good. And Selfie with the rebound. And the three is good for Christian Arthur. Drawing within six now are the Knights and Selfie. Faria handing off to Tyrone Smith McCray. Now Jamarillo, wide open hole, walks in. It's good for two. Jamarillo comes up with a steal. He's in. Lays it up and in. Nice. Balbuena stopping, popping, followed by Faria. Good job right there, being aggressive, going to the hoop right now. As of right now, they're in the penalty, okay? No team fouls by them. They can be aggressive on the defense side of the ball. Spellman can't, that's 16 fouls. Third personal against Craig Faria. Now 
Boyne a good on his first attempt. Cornyn comes out in favor of number 14, Mike Marshall. Yeah, hanging around right here. I mean, listen, th th this game I think is going to go down to the wire. This team has a little grit to them. I like South. They got a little fight and a technical foul. Now they gotta they gotta calm him down right now. Figure out what's going on. He's upset the technical foul. Coach is perplexed what's going on. Well now there's something going on now that it's on the Southie bench. John Marillo has to get separated from a Southie player. Craig Faria is the one in the middle of this. Listen, I I, I, I don't I believe Faria got a tech. He got technical foul. Listen, I think. I don't think it was as malice as they thought it was because they shook hands. Might have just been. Let's figure out what's going on here. Go and deep. then they called one against Balbuena. So Balbuena's on the bench. He was just going to shoot free throws from the tech against Craig Faria. I'm going I'm to get to the bottom of this here. The Mad Dog Research Team is on it. So Faria got a tech. And then Balbuena was going to shoot the free throws for it. And then he got a tech. He's now on the Southie bench. There's a lot of confusion in this one. John Marillo had to get separated at one point as he was squawking at someone. So far he's out, out for the moment. And as he got a tech, his replacement, number 15, Patrick Gilday. A lot of confusion. A lot of confusion. Faria is still on the court. Now he takes a seat on the bench. Well, let's go to Newby for a report on what the heck just happened. Newby. All right, two technical fouls. Number three for South Boston's out the game. Um, apparently he said something a little extra. Didn't appreciate it. To be quite frank with you, when I'm looking, when I was looking at it, I think it was just a little playful banter. I don't think it was malice intent. Might just be a little trash talking here and there. Um, personally, I think it was a little over exaggeration. Uh, double technical foul. You better be darn. You better earn that double technical foul. So, Bal so Balbuena gets a double tech. It was a double technical foul on both team player for Spelman, player for uh, Southie. But and nobody then, gets any shots on it. Then he picked up another technical foul for continuing to talk, which made him ejected out the game. So that's what it is right now. Well then, there's 311 left in the third quarter, and Southie's most valuable player, Yaniel Balbuena, has been ejected. Craig Faria also picked up a tech somewhere in that mix. Now down low and the lap is good for Sammy Holman. Two is good for number 14. 
Mike Marshall. So let's see how much mental toughness, okay, the team has right now. This is a good test. Let's see how good your mental toughness is. Let's see if they're going to use this as motivation. There's a selfie player on the floor, number 11, Jack Samuels Hall. John Marillo down low, getting it from the ground in the lap from Marshall, no good. Lee in the corner, Samuels Hall. Now across to Vasquez Duger. Shot does not count. Second personal against number 11 of the Cardinals, Rob McGuire. Good. Smith McCray with it. Now John Marillo, quarterback in the offense, his pass a little bit far out for Smith McCray on a play. This one into the first row intended for Christian Arthur. This game right here is really slowed down to a crawl here. Both teams trying to get some offensive rhythm back. Mike Marshall, short jumper, no good. They had numbers if they pushed it. They had a three on two if they pushed it. And the layup is good for Arthur. McCray counted in one for Tyrone Smith McCray. <laughs> Smith McCray trying to bring the Cardinal lead back to double digits. 56 47 the score. And does just that, 57-47. And immediately, a push called against Rob McGuire, so we'll be down at the other end for two shots, Kwong Lee to take them. It's a double bonus situation now for the Southie Knights. Seven forty-eight. Spillman on top by nine. And Lee is one or two at the free throw line. Admar John Marillo now under a minute to go in the third quarter. Spellman up by nine. Smith McCray trying to get it to a very unaware Ralge Pierre Paul, a senior out of Randolph. Jamarillo comes up with a loose ball. Jamarillo off the glass and in. Spellman up by 11. Fifteen seconds to go, shot clock is off. 
And a 10, John Marillo holding on for the last shot. His floater no good, Selkie takes over. Five seconds to go, it'll be a last second three. And oh, that would've no been good. huge. That would've been huge right there. 59 to 50, the score at the end of the third quarter. Spellman on top. Newbie, we just keep getting more and more action out of this game. I, I tell you what, I mean, it's been a fun third quarter. Unfortunately, you know, two technical fouls. Check that three. Uh, results in an injection. We don't want to see that. Um, hey, but here we go. You know, now it's about mental toughness. Now it's about are you going to step up, okay, use this as motivation. Um, and we're, and we're, we're going to find out real soon. I think Carter Swamp, this is their game to lose. They've had control of the game throughout the whole uh, three quarters. they got to finish strong right here. It's going to be a, bi a big test for both teams. The impact players for Southie. That is Yaniel Balbuena who has been tossed from this game. For Spellman. Gonna have to give it to Admar Jamarillo. Craig Faria was given a technical in that very weird sequence. Bellman's up by nine, 59 to 50 at the end of the third quarter. Smith McCray out of bounds off of one of the Knights. Spencer out for Marshall, his three no good. Smith McCray the rebound. Spinning out to John Marillo. His three looks good, no good. Smith McCray, a couple of offensive boards and tapping it home. Kwong Lee for three is good. Right there, down by eight now. They, now they gotta make some key defensive stops. Spencer inside, spinning, driving baseline. Strong off the glass, no good. Samuels Hall comes down with the loose ball. His three, no good. Spencer counted in one for Mike Spencer. Sixty-three, fifty-three. Spellman on top. That is the fifth foul against Kwong Lee, who is now. Fouled out of this game. And that's a big hit to the already short staff Knights. Absolutely, that's a great point, Matt. That's a great point. It's an excellent point, Matt. Excellent point. Kwong Lee is the sharpshooter from beyond the arc. Can count at least four three-pointers already this game. Put back layup for number four, Sammy Holman is good. John Marilla to Smith McCray who takes three steps with the ball very clearly. Called for the travel. You know, right now, it just, they gotta capitalize right now on these turnovers. I mean, they, they have a door open for this game. You gotta capitalize on it. Spellman's gonna put this one away. Now Southie is missing their 
two top scorers, Kwong Lee, who was fouled out with six minutes and change left in the fourth quarter, and Yaniel Balbuena, who was given that double tech and dejection. That also means, fun fact, that Balbuena will be suspended for the next game due to MIAA rules. So barring the refs taking back one of the technicals, Balboin is done for the Oliver Ames Holiday Tournament. Wow, that's big. Eleven point edge for Spellman. Vasquez Jr. Out to Arthur, his three is good. Spencer is fouled on his way in. Mike Spencer, good on his first attempt. To a two for the Cardinal big man. 68-58, Spellman back up by 10. And a foul committed by number five, that is Dakari Weston. Junior out of Brockton. Called by Southie, 68-60. So Knights trailing by eight. Matt, right now we need stops and baskets. Right, in, if you're Southie, you know you, you hung around. Not five minutes left. Now it's time to make your move. Stops and baskets. Stops and baskets. That's what you need right now. If I was, I actually try to put on a full court press. To be quite frank with you. Well, Southie again missing their two top scores from tonight. Yaniel Balbuena. Giving a double tech ejected from this game. And Kwong Lee, the sharpshooter, who has fouled out. That happened with just south of seven minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Winner of this game again goes on to face the winner of Oliver Ames and Brockton. That game coming up next on Brockton Community Access, the Boxers undefeated 3 and 0. Oh. Definitely gonna be an exciting game. Definitely, um, that's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Brockton getting a huge win last week against BC High, 55-53 on the road on Morrissey Boulevard. Hanging on to win that one. And BC High definitely is a powerhouse there. I mean, actually one of the players, we actually want to congratulate one of the players, um, Mr. Evie for a BCI scoring his thousandth point. This is where I know that because his mother was my teacher in high school. Small world. It was only a matter of time before he got his thousand. He is their quarterback. The three for John Marillo is good. John Marillo, a little shout out to Isaiah Thomas there looking at his wrist. <laughs> we know what time it is. 71-60, spilling up by 11. Another foul by Dakari Weston. Called for the block, his second personal.
One of two, back to a 10 point lead for Spellman, 71-61. Time's ticking right now if you're uh, if you're Southie right now. Weston layup no good. Southie takes over. Vasquez for three, no good. This one grabbed by John Morello before anyone came barreling into us. 82 is good, 73-61. Three on the other end, no good. John Marillo with the loose ball. All the way in, lays it up, no good. And crowd filling in nicely as they're awaiting the matchup of the evening, which is all Rams and Brockton. Definitely gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of fun, a lot of activity. It's gonna be good stuff. And I'm excited to be quite frank with you. Halfway through the fourth quarter, it's Spellman by 12. John Marilla looking to add to that and does, lays it up off the glass and in timeout, Southie. And that may be the nail in the coffin right there. By 14, 75, 61 the score. Three and a half to go in the fourth quarter, game three of the Oliver Rams Holiday Tournament. Tomorrow night, we've got first Brockton versus Oliver Ames in the consolation game, and then it is Needham and Walpole going at it in the championship game. Friday night, we'll have the boys Slate consolation game and championship game. If everything holds true, it will be Spellman fighting for the championship. Let's hope we can have an all Brockton matchup right here. Smith McCray being assaulted by Christian Arthur, who's says, what did I do? Are they gonna call us on Smith McCray? Southie with the ball. Christian Arthur. And the two pointer is good. Travel against Mike Spencer. Yeah, I really think uh, my prediction for the Brockton boxes, girls and boys, I think they'll go deep into the playoffs. I see um, I see South sectional finals for both. Nice aggressive move to the basket. Curry Weston in foul trouble now. Called for another block. I believe that is his third personal. Corner into the game, replacing Weston. Craig Faria also back into the game for Spellman. John Marillo with it, 10 point edge for the Cardinals, 75-65. Two and a half to go in the fourth quarter. Cornyn fakes the handoff. 
Play action pass to Faria. Faria working his way in, loses it midair, grabs it back now to Smith McCray. His three no good off the back of the rim. The rebound tapped to the Knights. Christian Arthur all the way in, lays it up, no good. And Cornyn being ripped around. And he's going to be called for the foul. That is his fourth personal foul for Will Cornyn, the senior out of Pembroke. One of two at the line is Samuels Hall. Spellman now up by nine with a minute 50 to go. A playoff for the Cardinals. Spencer coming down with the loose ball. John Marillo hits the deck, helped up by the official. Now Fari all the way in, trying oh, wow. a one-handed slam. He tried to tomahawk it to the bass. I'll tell you what, I would have took the lid off this place. Now, Sammy Holman has fouled out of this game. So Spellman, uh, rather southy now without Balbuena, Holman, and Lee. Talk about Sooner short you staff. Might to, you might have to suit up and get in there. They'd win. <laughs> win what? Win the consolation game. <laughs> Very good on his first attempt. 76 66 score. Spellman up by 10. And three is no good, might have been tipped by Lee. Now Fari off the glass and in 78-66. Three no good, offensive board to number 20, Alejandro Troncoso Dipre. Three is good for Damian Alvarez. Gotta put on a better press than that. Shot clock is go. off. Counting in one. Hey, it's not over yet. For Christian Arthur. You get a basket right here. Should be 71. Should be 71, but I guess not. Down There's by eight, two threes here. Get a steal, get a bucket. Now it's a one possession game. Craig Faria has now fouled out of this game. There's 71. They, put so a, it's they, 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 they get a basket right here. It's, 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 all he needs is two threes. Down by six. So there goes that idea. Corner with the rebound. He is immediately fouled by Jacques Samuels Hall. Fourth 
foul against Samuels Hall. No good, 15 seconds left. Laying it up and in, and an immediate timeout. Hey, you get a steal here. If I'm, if I'm trying to get a quick steal, a quick steal, get a quick bucket, then you foul. I, don't, I wouldn't want to foul immediately. You got time for maybe a second or two to get a quick steal and a bucket, then you foul, hopefully, after you get that bucket, it's a three-point game, okay? Or you get a quick three. I want to foul immediately. Give about a second or two, two seconds. Try to get that initial steal, then go from there. You do that, you know, you make a bucket, they miss two free throws, you might have about, you know, a second or two to get a, a, a game time shot. Credit South Boston for keep chipping away here and, and not giving up. Might be too little too late, but uh, you gotta credit, give them credit for at least fighting to the end. 78-73, 9.9 seconds left. Spellman up by five. Spellman, uh, Selfie's not gonna pull off the wow, steal. Wow, what a horrible execution right there. Dear Lord. Now Jamarillo is fouled. Wow, listen, <laughs> Matt. You wasted four seconds without a foul or attempted steal? What horrible execution. That, that, that's bad. How bad is it? Come on, guys. Jamarillo, no good on his first. Unbelievable. A lot of fouls in you this game. You wasted four seconds. That's unacceptable. You could have got a steal, now you could have been maybe going for a game winning shot right here. Unbelievable. Half court shot is no good. That half court shot might have been for a game tie, if not the lead. That's how big letting go four seconds was. But we'll let that go. Buzzer sounds. This one has come to an end. 78 73, the final of this one. Newbie, ton of fouls, ton of action. Hey, you know what? Hey, this is why they play the games, you know? Fun game, got a little intense. You know, you definitely don't want to send technical fouls, but hey, it's an emotional game. That's what happens. But um, I'm fired up. Hopefully, Brockton can win next game. We've got a Brockton, Brockton mega super match. Let's get ready to rock and roll over here. 78 73, a final score from this one. Cardinal Spellman getting the victory over South Boston. Coming up next, it's Brockton and Oliver Ames in the second game of the first round. We're going to take a quick break and then be right here for that game. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. We'll see you next game. Bad man, bad man.